So this digital billboard is going to show six individual objects. These are not pictures of objects. These are actual, autonomous, unique objects on the blockchain. These objects move from one place to another and are unique in that they can only be in one place. When I take one off of there, it no longer exists in that billboard. Now I have it. It's legally transferred ownership to me. I don't have it in my inventory. It doesn't matter how I acquired it. It's independent of how it's acquired. Anywhere I can see my inventory, I can see my stuff. One of my things now is this Vatom. I've now redeemed it. And rather than it just becoming a normal coupon, which I get my Coke for, it's come back as an empty Vatom, as an empty Coke, which is giving me an opportunity to have a living, breathing conduit relationship back to the brand. So now it's incenting me to send it on. As I send it on, you see that it actually fills up. So it's giving me more and more value the more I share. What's interesting is what I sent it, who I sent it to was this person who is not in the system at all. That's an email that they got that says so-and-so gave you a Coke. So they click on that without being in the system at all. That Coke is now transferred to their inventory, which shows that you don't need an app to participate in the Vatomic ecosystem. You just need an identity. He took that Coke. It had it in his identity. He now sent it back to the person who sent it to him. And you see how these objects flow seamlessly without friction between users. Another example that we want to show <clears throat> is that this Coke, now that it's being filled up, fills up more and more the more you send it, to the point where when it fills fully up again, it might realize into a new type of offer, further incenting you in that behavior. So you can see that these objects have their own incentive behaviors, they have their own uh, identities, they're independent, they can only be in one place at one time, and they're redeemable. Other thing that we can do with them is we can actually drop them on the map. So I can take it out of my inventory, and rather than give it to another person, I could put it in the location where I am. So that Vatom has now disappeared from my inventory, and if I go to the map, you'll see that it actually didn't disappear, it's, in the, it's on the map. Anybody who comes along can now pick that up and take it with the associated rules and policies. You know, if it's an Arthur sword, you're only going to get it if you're Arthur. Um, this is an example of how you can acquire Vatoms in other ways. Typically, these banner ads nobody clicks on. You click on it, it's going to take you on some mystical road and no value. An identity federation system with the Vatomic platform allows you to offer atoms where instantly touching on them gives you the atom. So instead of taking time on something that people clearly don't want to do with ad blockers, etc., showing the way, you just take something. And it might be something of valuable to you, something you want to share, something that is valuable to something else. But taking an object with no time is a very different proposition. There's an object of a key. It showed me on its map that there's a crate nearby. I go into the map. I'm acquiring that crate into my inventory. It's now left the map. I've had it. But you see the crate is actually useless on its own. I can't open it. But luckily, I have the key. This shows the power of combinability. I now have the key. I can put it on the crate. I can open the crate. This crate is now enabled to explode with things tailor-made for me. This crate can now open, and inside it has objects that I can now take into my inventory. It makes a gamification process of getting gifts and, and giveaways and coupons and, uh, and uh, digital works of art and other things that you might find in these crates. So now those things showed up in my inventory. As an example, there's a stamp from Peter Diamantis. Um, interestingly, we want to show how these objects not only exist in your phone, but they're really autonomous and listening to the world. Uh, this stamp, for instance, could turn into a pizza if, um, if a certain offer comes around. In this case, it's listening to Twitter. So we tweeted something, it heard that on Twitter, grew a mustache. You can imagine a baseball card turning into a taco if someone hits a home run or if the Lakers get over 100 points. You know, there's, a, there's an action that these are individually addressable that atoms can uh, change state and assume different types of value postures. So in this case, uh, we're tweeting again, uh, turning off the mustache, and uh, it's listening to Twitter. It heard it. The mustache disappears. So this idea of having an event bus where these objects not only are unique, independent, and authenticatable, but they're listening to everything, the weather, the sports course, the stock market, and they change accordingly. They also can change based on what other atoms you have in your possession or you know, any number of things you can imagine. Uh, here's an example 
of a number of different types of atoms that if you don't want them or if you want to trade them for something better, you throw it on the exchange. Here's a coffee I put on the exchange. Here's um, a, another user who sees that I'm, I'm going to offer them a hamburger for that. And you see that the exchange then can set up various types of barter transactions. Uh, the hamburgers come in. I could reject it. I could have 10 offers for my coffee and choose the right one in this case. I accepted it, and the exchange occurs. The coffee went where it needs to, and I got the burger, which now enters my inventory on the top.